Welcome to Adventure Koala Stories, where each episode brings you into a world of imagination and fun with our furry friends from the animal kingdom. Join us on exciting journeys through lush forests, across vast savannas, and into the deep blue sea with our brave and curious hero, Adventure Koala, and his super animal rescue team. From solving mysteries to discovering hidden treasures, there's always a new adventure waiting around the corner. Perfect for kids and families, our fun short animal stories aim to inspire, educate, and entertain. So, if you love tales of friendship, bravery, and a little bit of mischief, you're in the right place. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Adventure Qual Stories wherever you get your podcasts. This way, you'll stay up to date with all our latest adventures and never miss a moment of the fun. Now buckle up and let's dive into today's story. Remember, pay close attention to the story and stay tuned to the end to see if you can answer today's Adventure Qual question of the day. Adventure Koala and the Showdown in Big Bear City One sunny day in Adventure Town, Adventure Koala was taken aback when Mayor Marigold summoned him for what he assumed was just another daring rescue mission. Instead, he was greeted with a feast in his honor, complete with all the bamboo delights he could imagine. As he nimbled on a particularly tasty bamboo shoot, Mayor Marigold, a wise and compassionate elephant, who never forgot a favor, made an unusual request. She wanted Adventure Koala and the Super Animal Rescue Team to help her win the soccer match against their longtime rivals, Big Bear City, in the upcoming Super Soccer Cup. Big Bear City, which was just over the mountains from Adventure Town, had won the last six cups, and their mayor, Mayor Bernard, never missed a chance to tease Mayor Mayor Marigold and Adventure Town about their losing streak. In the days leading up to the Super Soccer Cup, Mayor Bernard, with a boisterous laugh and a penchant for playful jabs, made sure to keep the friendly rivalry well-fueled. Mayor Marigold, wise and dignified, found herself on the receiving end of Bernard's teases, which, while light-hearted, had started to annoy the usually very patient elephant. Every chance he got, Mayor Bernard would call Mayor Marigold, his voice booming over the phone with fake concern. Marigold, dear, just checking in to see if Adventure Town needs a lesson on soccer basics. We're happy to host a workshop before the big game. After all, what are neighbors for? His chuckle would echo down the line. Recently, during Adventure Town's weekly market, a large screen was brought in and repeatedly played a video of Mayor Bernard and a large crowd of Big Bear City supporters waving a Big Bear City flag and saying, Greetings from Big Bear City. We're just practicing our victory dance. Thought Adventure Town might want to see how winners celebrate for once. His laughter filled the air, just as Mayor Marigold had the screen taken down, gritting her teeth as she smiled, her patience a testament to her character. Despite the teasing, Mayor Marigold remained unfazed. Her responses were always gracious and filled with wit. Dear Bernard, thank you for the offer. We might just surprise you this year. Adventure Town has a few tricks up its sleeve. See you at the match. This banter, while lighthearted, underscored the deep-seated rivalry between the two towns. It was a rivalry built on years of competition and a bit of envy. Adventure Town was the more popular town for other animals to visit, and Big Bear City always felt a little bit left out. But Mayor Bernard's teases, while kind of annoying, were part of the tradition, a prelude to the annual clash that was meant to bring the two communities together, united by their love for the game. This year, Mayor Marigold was determined to turn the tables and finally end the losing streak. It was time to show Big Bear City that Adventure Town was not to be underestimated. Not to help matters, the game was to be held in Big Bear City, adding to the challenge of playing in front of a less than friendly crowd. Adventure Koala, always ready to support his town, agreed without hesitation. He gathered the SART and pondered which members would have the edge on the soccer field. After much thought, he selected Zara Zebra, whose speed and confusing stripes would bewilder their rivals. Ollie Owl, with unmatched vision for guarding the goal. Gina Gecko, 
ready to stick where it counts and defend their side. And Harry Hare, with agility and quick hops, to lead their offense. As the Adventure Town team set off for Big Bear City, spirits were high with anticipation of the upcoming Super Soccer match. However, the journey and preparation were fraught with unexpected challenges, carefully orchestrated by the enthusiastic supporters of Big Bear City, including their mischievous mayor. First, there was the misdirection. One of the first obstacles was a series of road signs that had been creatively altered by Big Bear City fans. These signs led the team on a wild goose chase through the mountains, turning what should have been a straightforward journey into a prolonged and confusing expedition. This caused frustration to bubble up within the, th the team, particularly affecting Harry Hare, who had been in charge of navigating the way. Harry's frustration was palpable, and he felt terrible about leading the team astray. Although they eventually found the right path, Harry started feeling a bit worthless and started to doubt his value to the team. Then there was also the hotel hassle. Upon finally arriving in Big Bear City, the team discovered that their hotel reservations had been mysteriously canceled. Forced to find last-minute accommodations, they ended up in a dingy, less-than-ideal lodge on the outskirts of town. The cramped and uncomfortable conditions only added to the team's stress, particularly Gina Gecko. She always needed plenty of rest, and without sleep, she woke up feeling like she couldn't perform. Lastly, there was the double-booked field. When the team went to the local field for their final practice before the game, they found it occupied by another team, courtesy of a scheduling error by the local sports committee, clearly influenced by Big Bear City's fans. This left the team without a place to practice and sharpen their skills. Ollie Owl, who relied on precise practice routines to maintain his goalkeeping skills, felt particularly upset, worrying that his performance would suffer. These obstacles, all secretly planned by Big Bear City, not only tested the team's patience, but also sowed seeds of discord. Doubts began to surface about whether they had what it took to win, and whispers of nervousness spread. The team's unity, so crucial to their success, was under threat. By the time the game kicked off, in the stadium amidst thousands of jeering Big Bear City fans, the team was a shell of its former self. Harry Hare lacked his usual bouncy step. Gina Gecko couldn't seem to stick to any of Big Bear City's players. Zara Zebra was a step behind and couldn't break free to score a goal. By halftime, Adventure Town was down by one score, the sneaky tactics of Big Bear City supporters having done their job well. The team's spirit was waning, the dream of victory slipping like sand through their fingers. As the adventurous town soccer team slumped into their locker room chairs, the mood was as gloomy as a rain cloud over a picnic. Adventure Koala, seeing his friends down in the dumps, decided it was time to turn the tide, not with a wave, but with a splash of fun. All right, team, Koala, Adventure Koala began, hopping onto a bench with a twinkle in his eye. I know we're a bit stuck in the mud here, but have you ever seen a koala sail a boat? No? Well, that's because we're better at climbing trees and playing soccer, of course. I chose you all for a reason. You've all got special skills. But more than that, I trust all of you and you're all my friends. I know that if we work together, we can do this for Mayor Marigold and all of Adventure Town. He sauntered over to Harry the Hare, who was looking particularly droopy. Harry, my friend, remember when you outran that cheeky wind just to show it who's boss? Your speed isn't just fast, it's hair-raising. Let's show those bears a thing or two about real lightning on the field. What do you say? Next, Adventure Koala waddled over to Gina the Gecko, who seemed to blend into the shadows of defeat. And Gina, I've seen you stick to a challenge like, well, a gecko to the wall. Tonight, let's stick to victory, yeah? Your moves are going to glue us together and drive those bears up the wall. Ollie the Owl, who was silently pondering their predicament, caught Adventure Owl Koala's gaze next. Ollie, your night vision is so sharp, you could spot a needle in a haystack during a new moon. Tonight, let's use those peepers to predict every move those big bear players make. You're our secret weapon. 
more like a wise missile guidance system. Finally, turning his attention to Zara the Zebra, Adventure Koala grinned. And Zara, you've got more zips and zags than a lightning bolt. Those bears won't know if they're playing soccer or joining a dance-off. Let's dazzle them with your moves. Make them see stripes in their sleep. Let's see you score those amazing goals. Hopping down from the bench, Adventure Koala clapped his paws together, igniting a spark of excitement into the, in the air. We're not just any team. We're the Adventure Town Express. Full speed steam ahead. We've got speed, stealth, smarts, and stripes. Let's get out there and have some fun. Play hard, laugh harder, and remember, it's just a game. The best part, we get to play together. The locker room burst into laughter and cheers, the funk lifting as each team member was reminded of their strengths and the joy of playing together. With spirits high and smiles wide, they charged back onto the field, ready to face Big Bear City with a renewed sense of fun, camaraderie, and Adventure Town flair. The second half was a testament to their resilience. Zara dazzled the field with her speed, weaving through defenders as if they were standing still. Ollie, with his keen eyesight, saved goal after goal, his predictions of the ball's path uncanny. Gina, finding her groove, began, became an unpassable barrier, her determination as adhesive as her gecko grip, and Harry, embracing his role, darted and dodged, his goal, his goals a blur to the spectators. In the final minutes, Adventure Town was still one goal behind, after a fierce steal by Gina, a precise throw by Ollie, and a dazzling pass by Harry, it was Zara's moment. She broke away from the pack and her shot whizzed the ball into Big Bear City's net. Then, with just a moment to spare, Harry zinged the final goal into the corner of the net. It was a thing of beauty, a perfect arc over the heads of Big Bear City's defenders and into the net, breaking the tie and winning the game. The Big Bear City crowd went silent. With their mouths open, they stared onto the field, not believing that they had just lost to Adventure Town after six years of rubbing it in their faces. Mayor Marigold was standing next to Mayor Bernard, having been invited to watch the game from the mayor's own box. As the final whistle sounded, Mayor Marigold stayed silent. Mayor Bernard was flabbergasted and couldn't figure out what to say. Resisting the temptation to gloat, and living up to her reputation for graciousness and maturity, Mayor Marigold thanked Mayor Bernard for hosting a great game and telling him that his team played extremely well. Mayor Bernard was not used to such grace and defeat. He was used to mean words and bickering. All of a sudden, his frown felt heavy, and he started to smile instead. With a sheepish, sheepish look and a bit of embarrassment at how childish he had been with all the teasing, he turned and said, Mayor Marigold, you are a shining example of class and civility. I'm not embarrassed to say that Big Bear City has a lot to learn from you, and so do I. Please stay here tonight along with your team. I'm going to make it a night you'll never forget, and a night that will be remembered as the night when Big Bear City and Adventure Town finally became the friends we were meant to be. Accepting the invitation, Mayor Marigold went and broke the news to Adv the Adventure Town Express, led by Adventure Koala. I don't know how you all pulled it off, but I couldn't be happier for how you have rep represented Adventure Town. At the end of the day, you didn't let little bumps in the road get in your way. You pulled together when it counted. Now, let's go celebrate. The entire team let out a yell for joy and headed out to Big Bear City, where they were greeted by the mayor and the entire town with open arms. By the time everyone got back to Adventure Town the next day, they were exhausted and running on fumes. However, the team perked back up when they arrived at the town square and were greeted by throngs of thankful Adventure Town animals who kept them up throughout the night to celebrate as long as they could. Once everyone was finally in bed, they slept as soundly as any animal has ever slept before. They deserved it, as they had finally brought the Super Soccer Cup back to Adventure Town, where it belonged. The End Now it's time for today's Adventure Koala question of the day. One of the Adventure Town animals got frustrated and started feeling worthless because they got lost navigating the team to Big Bear City. 
They didn't know that Big Bear City had switched signs on the road and had gotten them lost on purpose. Can you remember which Adventure Town animal it was that blamed themselves for getting everyone lost? I'll be right back with the answer. Did you get it? Can you remember which Adventure Town animal blamed themselves for getting everyone lost? If you guessed Harry Hare, you're correct. Great job. Remember to like and subscribe Adventure Koala Stories to keep up with all the adventures. That's it for now. Bye.